gonna tell me where you went All the messages I sent with no reply It's like that You're just gonna walk into my Hello my stars, welcome back to my channel, Goddess of Stars Tarot, it's your girl Karen and I'm so excited to be bringing you another career and money reading for June of 2022. So we're going to dive into the energy that is surrounding the collective and seeing what's going to be coming in towards you in career and money in June of 2022. So that way you know how to maneuver through that month to bring in more prosperity into your life and bring in things to fruition for you. So some of the things that was coming to me as I meditated before starting your reading was co-creation. So I feel like June is going to bring about second chances or new beginnings or a regeneration of some store of a fresh start here for some of you. I feel like for some of you here, it's all about going into an energy of being more inspired or being more creative in the month of June and bringing your thoughts and your visions to reality in the month of June. So let's go ahead and dive a little bit deeper and seeing and seeing what is the overall energy here for the month of June. So we're just going to get one card from this deck to see the overall energy of the reading. What is the overall energy of the reading for the month of June for my Aquarius? And if you haven't already, go ahead and subscribe, like and share. All right. So we have observer. So this energy is about having a whole new perspective. Okay, maybe you have been observing things that's been taking place in your life and realizing now may be a time to change your perspective on a situation. Maybe you've been observant of why things have been happening the way that it has and maybe going into a different perspective as far as what you should be doing with your life here. The fox is very interesting to me because it's definitely something that I feel you may be feeling like now may be a time to look at a particular situation that may have rubbed you the wrong way or maybe looking at a situation in an aspect of maybe feeling like something is not right or something is not sitting right with you. Maybe also feeling like if a career choice is right for you or maybe feeling like maybe something is too materialistic for you or something along those lines is what I feel all right bottom of the deck is why so I love this energy because this is about what is driving you what is driving your motive to achieve the things that you want to achieve you know, what is your why? Why is it that you get up every day and go to work? Why is it that you started your new business? Why is it that, you know, you want to achieve a certain goal? So I feel like for some of you, you're going to be changing your perspective in the month of June and actually tapping into your why. You know, why is it that you're doing the things that you're doing? What is it that you want to achieve? Maybe going back to the basics, going back to the drawing board to figure out exactly what it is that you want, you know, out of your life. Or why is it that you are working as hard as it as it is that you are? OK, maybe for some of you, it may even require you going back to school here or at least, you know, acknowledging some things here within yourself. So let's go ahead and dive a little, little bit deeper into your reading. All right, so we're gonna do the first half of the month, the second half of the month, and the last half of the month. My little lamp here turned off, but we're gonna keep going. We're gonna keep going. Maybe something shuts down here for you. Just thinking of my lamp going off. Maybe something, you know, shuts off for you here, you know? And maybe that's a light switch that you needed. So let's see. Show me the energy of the first half of the month for Aquarius. Thank you. All right, so we have the star card. So again, feeling inspired here the first half of the month is what I feel. You know, maybe having a new recharge energy, maybe being spiritually guided towards something that you should be following here. This energy also speaks of faith, destiny, like going on the path that you should be on here at the end of the day. There's some type of hope that is driving you the first half of the month in June, all right? We also have at the, the next card for the second half of the month is temptation. 
So there may be some tempting energies that's surrounding you here in the month of June, the second half. We have two major Arcana cards coming out so far. So something to do with some major shifts and changes that's taken place. The Devil card can represent maybe being too materialistic, maybe holding on to something that you shouldn't be holding on to here. With this Devil card energy, this energy can also represent some very drastic changes that is going to take place here for you with this Devil energy. Maybe shady deals or someone here misusing their power in the situation. Maybe there is, you know, some type of material success that takes place here. Maybe there's an overthrill of power in that situation, you know, or maybe a warning against like losing oneself to success. Maybe you feel like that could be the case in your situation, you know, or maybe act, acting against your own convictions and morals in the situation or someone is doing this towards you that is making you feel like you need to, you know, reevaluate your why, why you're doing the things that you're doing. So let's get one more for the last half of the month. Thank you. All right. So we have the Ace of Cups. Love begins. So I love this because it's telling me there's a new beginning in something that you're strongly passionate about at the end of the day. The Ace of Cups re represents finding your true calling or your purpose or the meaning of why you're doing the things that you're doing. It's, it's more deeply rooting to why you find something satisfying at the end of the day or something that is in alignment with you on a deeper sense. So I love that you you know, you are refocusing yourself into doing the things that you absolutely love or the things that you're truly passionate about. I am going to show you guys the bottom of the deck, which is transformation. So I do feel like for some of you here, like I said, in the beginning of the reading, when I was meditating, it was all about a rebirth or some type of second chance or starting over some type of transformation that's taking place here for you. That's allowing you to co-create and step into an energy of doing things that you're most and truly passionate passionate about. So let's dive a little bit deeper and see why these energies are showing up in your reading. All right, so we got some cards that flew out on the table. So we're going to take these. All right, so we have the strength card. We have the high priestess. And we have the Four of Cups. We also have the Hangman energy coming through. Give me some more. What's the energy here for Aquarius? What's the energy here for Aquarius? Thank you. All right, so we have the Two of Pentacles. Thank you. And then we have the Queen of Cups. Interesting. We have the Four of Swords paired with the Nine of Pentacles. And last but not least, the King of Wands. The bottom of the deck is the Knight of Swords. So the Knight of Swords is going to represent our overall energy, okay? So the overall energy is about, I feel, going back to the drawing board. For some of you, it may be surrounding releasing some drama or some tension that's taking place. You know, maybe mental confliction here for some of you with this uh, Knight of Swords energy. This energy can definitely represent like some changes or maybe a change in lifestyle that takes place here for you with this Knight of Swords energy. You know, maybe thinking quick on your feet and making the necessary decisions that you need to make. This energy can also represent brainstorming or maybe even overthinking a situation here and reevaluating some things in your life. So I do feel like for some of you here, it may be a time where things may be a little bit chaotic, but you have have this aha moment that leads to some type of victory or success for you here with this Knight of Swords energy. Again, changing your perspective overall to your why, all right? Why you're doing the things that you're doing in the month of June. So let's dive a little bit deeper and see what we got going on for the first half of the month. So first half of the month, you have the Strength card, the High Priestess with the Four of Cups. Yeah, so an energy of feeling like you know, unfulfilled or feeling like you're on a path that may need you to, you know, refocus on why you're doing the things that you're doing. Maybe even standing in your strength a little bit, maybe looking for a little bit, something a little bit more solid here in your life with the strength card. This can represent a work-life balance, okay? Or maybe assessing a situation and being more realistic with yourself and that particular situation. Like maybe really realizing something may not be fair here is what is coming to me. Now, this high priest energy 
paired with the strength card i strongly feel like this is about for some of you trusting your own decision here as far as like what is it that you want for yourself okay it can have even represent here maybe even trusting something here that is unfolding and maybe going with it all right so i feel like with the four of cups you're putting tying that into just maybe just feeling like something here has reached its peak in your life and now realizing now's the time to actually change your focus from that situation maybe reaping all the benefits that you got from that situation and now realizing may now may be a time to shift your focus is what i feel okay so there's a lot of questioning of if you're on the right path or not the first half of the month is what i feel okay the second half of the month, you have the hangman, the two of pentacles and the queen of cups. Yeah, so this hangman energy, I feel like this is about you contemplating, you know, figuring some things out, but most importantly, contemplating if something feels right or if something is right here for you. You know, it could also represent, you know, a promotion that you didn't receive or plans being delayed in a situation or maybe even feeling like you're stagnant you know, and feeling stuck, like there's no growth here for you. There's nothing that is going to, you know, catapult into something a little bit more, you know, promising for you at the end of the day. And the two of pentacles is about you realizing, you know, now may be a time to reanalyze some things and make some better choices here for yourself. You know, maybe putting all your cards on the table and seeing, okay, is this something that's in alignment that's making me happy? Is this something that's in alignment with my why at the end of the day? And then the Queen of Cups, this energy is telling you like, it's a quiet phase, you know, it's a phase that you may be going through that you're going within emotionally, you know, maybe meditating or, you know, realizing that something needs to change. You know, I feel like there's a lot of inward guidance that's taking place here for you in the middle of the month and is surrounding making some very important decisions on if something is right for you at the end of the day. And it could be surrounding, you know, some type of manipulation here with this devil card energy or maybe even feeling like someone's abusing their power in a situation or a deal is very shady or, you know, misuse of power in some way, shape or form that takes place. The last half of the month, you have the Four of Swords, the Nine of Pentacles, and the King of Wands. So the Four of Swords, why I love this energy being paired with the Nine of Pentacles and the King of Wands is like, now is a time for you to take action. Now is a time to put all of your thoughts and your ideas into fruition, you know, actually put these things in play in order to get to where you need to be. And I feel like it's almost as if you took time to not only reevaluate but take a break from the things that you feel that doesn't serve you in order to make this informed decision on what is going to bring you the most success what is going to bring you the the lifestyle that you actually desire here and actually feel most passionate about the nine of pentacles represents success and transactions it can also represent receiving a promotion you know unexpected success taking place in your endeavors very happy and fulfilling time in your work and finances is what I see here coming towards the end of the month. The Four of Swords, I feel like, is more so about you no longer, you know, letting things pass you by. I feel like you're starting to put things in place, you know, giving up the things that didn't help you before, but actually taking the time to actually put these things in place that is helping you. So I love that you're fo changing your focus from maybe being quiet or being in a space of planning and now executing these plans is what I feel, all right? Like resolving the issues that may be impacting your why, your why at the end of the day. And the King of Wands is just about you executing things, you know, putting things in place and actually taking action here. You know, this is about you, for some of you, maybe getting a promotion to being a manager. For some of you, taking on more of a leadership role, maybe even starting a business here or put in some initiatives in place in your business that's going to help you to be successful and achieve this nine of cups energy i'm sorry nine of pentacles energy but this speaks of unexpected opportunities it could be being more self-determined and more confident and more decisive in the things that you are doing in your career most importantly the king of wands represents fire energy which is about your passion something that you're strongly passionate about you know feels exciting again and lush and full of 
success here at the end of the day. So there's a change that's going to take place in your lifestyle is what I feel and in your work life balance is what I feel here as well. So let's go ahead and close out with some advice. What's the advice you have for Aquarius in the month of June? What's the advice you have for Aquarius in the month of June? Give me two cards. Thank you. We have higher. All right. And then we have funnel. Interesting. All right. So let's go over these energies. I feel like this is the first time we got these energies in a career and money reading. So it says higher. It says if you're feeling overwhelmed with a never ending to do list, outsource your mundane business task to a virtual assistant, get the support. So I feel like for some of you, this is about actually reaching out and receiving the support that you may need okay or your spirit guides is telling you now may be a time to reach out and um accept the support that you may need from others even if you're feeling a little bit overwhelmed by a particular work life situation i also feel like for some of you here you may be getting hired at a new job here in the month of june for some of you here this is about actually looking at all of your prospects you know seeing what's out there and maybe feeling like you need to change your focus and maybe apply to something new here or maybe start something new here youtube is standing out for me so for some of you here this could even be surrounding you know your youtube channel maybe trying to grow your channel as well we also have the funnel energy it says create a dynamic customer experience that nurtures prospects to become paying clients build a simple sales funnel so i feel like for some of you here you may be refocusing on how you can achieve more sales or maybe even achieve more leads or maybe even nurturing the clients that you do have and actually channeling that energy to bring you more success so I love this energy and I feel like this is the advice that your spirit guides is giving you. You know, now may be a time to refocus your energy on how you can turn your leads into successful transactions or maybe turn your leads or the clients that you do have, maybe revisiting old clients that you have and turning that into something successful here for you at the end of the day. All right. Or maybe even for some of you here, maybe reevaluating your business, maybe even reevaluating your to-do list, you know, coming into an energy of you know success or development or growth expansion things like that all right so let's see what your closeout advice is let's get one card from the monology manifestation deck what's the advice you have for aquarius oh you got two so let's see what the, that advice is your advice is know your worth i love it because this is new moon in taurus so a very grounding energy okay earth energy but actually being more grounded and coming into an energy of knowing what you deserve at the end of the day and it's so funny that you're getting this advice because it all goes back to your why why are you doing the things that you're doing is this fulfilling to your why at the end of the day then we have trust the universe first quarter moon in aquarius so your spirit guides is telling you to trust the process at the end of the day Okay, because by trusting the process comes a lot of beautiful changes in alignment with what you should be doing at the end of the day. And it also comes with a lot of wisdom, wisdom because it allows you the time to actually be patient, go within, and allow things to flow the way that it's supposed to for you at the end of the day. All right, Aquarius, I hope you guys love your career money reading for June of 2022. Until next time, bye. I guess you're back. Are you gonna tell me where you went? All the messages I sent with no reply